uh, neural net and deep rna network deep sequential neural networks okay so what people do is they in case if you have multiple time stamps okay so uh, make it like we can have multiple layers of this as well till now we have seen only single layer right so uh, which we have unfolded okay let's uh, only talk about one fold and then we can expand it to others so previously we only had something like this where we take x of maybe a t okay of 1 okay t of 0 and from here x of 2 this actually we have expanded it doesn't have more here it we have expanded it uh, over time here but just for our own uh, information or else like it, we can just represent it this way okay so taking this now what we can have is here this is not a deep uh, network right so because we just have a simple cell so what we can have is a stack of these here means like instead of here we can also add one more part and take output from this or maybe instead of adding only one like maybe add 2 3 so we can increase the depth and then maybe from here you can take output right so this you can do right because then what you are actually adding is uh, like pre- here we have a not right so now you have one more just to denote we are uh, let's denote it as a uh, kind of a layer row on a 20 a 30 a 40 okay and this actually gets unrolled like over time like pre- actually this is a cell where you have something like this okay so but instead of that what we do is just for our understanding purpose we can have it this way like expand it over a time like this okay so this is how we can uh, use it in terms of like finally you get like four outputs right so maybe you can take a consolidation of all uh, these or maybe depending on use case like what output you want to take uh, it again like just like here right variable input variable output depending on that you can take output okay so this is how you can expand your network and increase the depth this way so as you start increasing your depth so it is called like uh, we it, it, treat it as a deep neural network so it's a deep rnn okay so this is how actually your deep rnn will look like so uh, in this case what we actually did is started adding like layers here okay this is let's say this is one layer second third and fourth layer okay here we stack four layers okay of rnn so what you have is for each you have a weights right so here you have weight matrix here you have weight matrix here you have here you have okay so you st- start increasing number of weights so it will go much deeper so uh, what you can have is finally maybe the output what you get from here right so you can consolidate Uh, depending on your use case you can use a fully connected uh, la- network and then finally get a soft max and use it or something like that it is uh, depending on the scenario what you want to use okay so these are uh, this is what about uh, our deep rnn how uh, actually the architecture go much deeper